Hi, I'm David Smolinski. I recently graduated from Salem State University with a biology degree, a biomedical science concentration, and a chemistry minor. I have a hobby business that I've been doing for a while and involves making alcohol stoves out of aluminum beer bottles. and selling them on ballstoves.com. I made this robot to automate one of the more tedious steps of this process. It drills holes all around the stove bodies and turns an undrilled stove body into a drilled one. This is the first robot I've ever made, the first one I've invented. I spent or invested about a thousand dollars and there are some misalignments that I have to fix so I'm going to show you a couple cycles but normally I can load 20 stoves and then come back and load 20 more.
My experience has taught me that many people can make industrial robots even if they don't have much experience. I had very little experience in mechanical or electrical engineering. This summer, I had two months off from school and I designed my robot, I built some of it, and then I had school for a few months and then I had two months and I worked on my robot and here it is. I, when I started, I had very little knowledge of robotics. I didn't know what a ball screw was, I didn't know how a stepper motor works. I didn't know about the various actuators and bearings. And I still don't know any CAD software or 3D design software. I'm going to learn that in the future. So this robot took a while because I'm new, I'm inexperienced. It's my first robot. I'm learning. I had to learn on my own and I had to wait for parts to ship from China. Now I'll tell you about modern consumer electronics consumer robotics in maker spaces. Consumer robotics can save you time. They can save you electrical engineering. They can reduce the amount of work that you need to do to automate a process. And I recommend Arduino because this controller is open source. Any company can make a knockoff of it. You know, there's competition. There are many shields that companies make that stack onto the board and allow you to move various actuators. Or their actuators are moving devices. It's easy to program. Their website has an easy to use reference with many examples. There's a large community. There are many people who post resources that are educational and they post code that you can use. And I'll show you my controller setup and Are you going? Okay. On well, the bottom I have an Arduino Uno. This is a less advanced Arduino, but it's good enough for me. And I chose it because people have been using it for a long time, so I feared the bugs would be worked out. And then I have my shields stacked on top of it. I have two DF Robot relay shields that control my solenoids and two Adafruit motor shields version 2 that control my stepper motors now I'll tell you about the Adafruit motor shield version 2 because I really like this product and it allows you to do a lot with minimal experience and I think it's kind of revolutionary so on an Arduino Uno you have two I2C pins and this will allow you to stack up to 32 of these motor shields uh, and then you can run up to 64 stepper motors or 
128 servo motors or 128 regular motors off of one Arduino. So if you had a more advanced Arduino, you'd have more I2C pins and you could run even more motors. These motors can be run with a current of up to 1.2 amps each, but you can increase this maximum current by using multiple terminals. So this terminal has five ports and if I used another five ports and connected the wires in parallel then instead of a maximum current of 1.2 amps this could be up to 2.4 amps and you could e increase it more same method. Now I'd like to tell you about maker spaces. Maker space is a place where fellow makers can go and share tools. It's generally nonprofit. People spend a, a membership fee and the maker space near where I live is called the Artisans Asylum. And maker spaces in the US are increasing in number and size and you should find the local maker space near you or maybe even create your own maker space. Now, the Artisans Asylum in Somerville, Massachusetts is about a one hour drive one way for me so I can only go there so often but it's very large it has any tool that I need it has very high-tech tools and software some of which include a 3D printer CNC machines AutoCAD, SolidWorks I'd love to learn these someday because I could design robots more quickly and they could, would be more accurate with fewer design flaws that I'd have to work out. And at the asylum I've met many mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, roboticists, I've met employees of 3D printer companies and a DARPA engineer. So there are a lot of people who can use as resources, educational resources, and makerspaces are a great educational resource. They could help you with getting a job or developing a company. So I'd like you to like, comment, subscribe, I'd like to share this video. If you can learn about your local makerspace, maybe get involved with them, it would be nice. Check out Arduino, and I'll see you later. Oh, and stay tuned for more robotics videos and some fitness videos.